Well, welcome to this UK drug testing product presentation video. Just going to show you this uh, new six panel saliva drug test. It's a direct saliva. As you can see, the packaging in front of you, UK drug testing branding. It contains a six drug screen midstream saliva uh, test as shown there. This screen is for methamphetamine, cocaine, cannabis, amphetamine, opiates and benzodiazepines. Now, these come foil wrapped. This is the standard foil. It's got all the in vitro diagnostic uh, certification and manufacturer's details on the front. The test itself is a direct saliva design, as you have here, which is basically a uh, covered prong coming out of the back. This is the saliva collector. And then you've got these two columns with uh, control lines at the handle end, which is this end. And three sets of uh, test lines will form against the drug abbreviations in each column. So the left-hand column is your screen for methamphetamine, cocaine and cannabis. And your right-hand column will give you a control line and test lines or not for amphetamine, opiates and benzos. So when you're ready to perform the test, you don't remove these from the foil until you're just ready to perform the test. They will come with the cover on as such. So you need to remove that cover to uh, expose the prong. And then the procedure for testing with this device is to put this prong device into the donor's mouth and ask them to feed saliva onto it. And it's a good advice or good technique to ask them to rub the tongue around the top and bottom teeth, front and back of the teeth, and then to lap the base of the mouth in a forward motion up the back of the lower teeth for five or six motions before you introduce the uh, drug test into the mouth. And that will allow a pool of saliva to form, but also the motion of the tongue around will stimulate the mouth to produce saliva, but also dislodge and clean uh, around the teeth and gums before you introduce the test into the saliva. It can then be left in the pool of saliva for between uh, 30 seconds and 45 seconds and then you'll ask them to move it around the mouth again rubbing the gums, teeth, top of the tongue and that can then be left in the oral cavity until both control lines show. And the results can then be read if it's all negative from as early as uh, four to five minutes but for a positive result which would be indicated by the presence of a control line but no test line showing against the drug abbreviation on the side of the columns you must leave a full 10 minutes. So I'm going to run this test and show you example readings for the results and how to interpret those. Well, we've run this test on a negative saliva sample and this is the result showing at five minutes. And the uh, reason we're showing you these at this stage is to make the point that in an all negative test, the control and test lines form quite quickly with this design of test, making it a nice, easy and a fast test to run. So as soon as you've got a control line showing at the top of the column against the C and all your test lines showing, this is an all negative result for each of those six drug groups. Those test lines aren't going to fade or disappear over the next five to ten minutes. So you can move on and test the next person and interpret this as a fully negative result. You will see a little bit of variation in the thickness, colour, density and uh, the general thickness of the lines in the control region and the test region between the two columns. That's nothing to worry about. Test lines tend to be very thin for uh, drugs such as cannabis, but you can see with this particular design, the manufacturer has made it so you're getting a really nice, clear, thick test line for the cannabis. A positive result would be indicated by the lack of a test line against the drug abbreviation at the 10 minute read time. And that's the importance of giving this test 10 minutes development from the start of it being put in the mouth and it running with the saliva for a positive indicator to be read with this design. If you do have control lines and test lines showing against just two of the, the drug groups or one of the drug groups and no test lines showing against the others in a column, then that has detected those drugs at the cutoff sensitivity as determined by the manufacturer and you should confirm those results using an accredited laboratory method. So that's the direct saliva UK drug testing six in one saliva test demonstrated for you. It's a very well designed, accurate, reliable and fast saliva drug test screening a sample for these six common drug groups. Very useful in business and industry and available from the UK drug testing and drug testing kits website. Thanks for watching.